Uh, now let's take this problem. Uh, what sum of money at SI amount to rupees thirteen hundred in four years and to fifteen twenty five in seven years? Uh, friends, though the problem is very simple, uh, then also we will discuss the problem uh, in detail uh, since this is the beginning of the problem solving sessions. So it's uh, better that you should be clear with all the concepts. Okay, now. We understand that the principal is fixed and that is the amount that we are borrowing from any uh, individual, right? So principal is fixed. Now, as far as the case of simple interest is concerned, that is also fixed on per annum basis. That means simple interest is same every year, same every year. Okay, I just repeat it. It's same every year. That means if it is rupees 10 for first year, then it will be rupees 10 for second year. It will be rupees 10 for third year and so on. Okay, so principal is fixed and simple interest is fixed. Now, in the first case, we are given that the amount becomes 1300 in four years. So amount is what? Principal plus simple interest. Now, simple interest for four years. Okay, I just write it as four. Principal plus simple interest for four years is rupees thirteen hundred, and principal plus simple interest for seven years is fifteen twenty five. Okay. Now further interest for individual years is same. That means if I deduct this uh, amount from this amount, I'll be getting interest for three years. Okay. That is, I deduct this from this. So it's S simple interest for 7 years my simple minus simple interest for 4 years is 1525 minus 300 that is 225 and this is the simple interest for 3 years okay because principal uh, was same so if 225 is the simple interest for 3 years further further i would repeat that simple interest is same for every year that means each year the simple interest was 75 rupees okay now, 75 rupees is the interest per annum. That means in 4 years, the total interest will be 300. Isn't it? 75, 1 year, that means for 4 years, it will be 300. Now, 1300 is the amount which was accumulated after 4 years. And out of that, 300 is the interest. That means the principal was 1000. Isn't it? The problem is very simple. Okay. Now, alternatively, what you can do is you can go by option. Generally, you try to choose the options which looks quite uh, easy to understand. Suppose, uh, for instance, I for instance I take one thousand rupees. So now, if you are going by option, do not touch your paper and pen. Or maybe you can make a less use of paper and pen. Now, suppose I take uh, the option as one thousand. Okay. Now, if it is 1000 rupees and it is being 1300 in 4 years, that means 300 rupees is the interest charged. Okay, so 300 in 4 years, that means 75 rupees per annum is the interest charged. Now, just cross verify it. If 75 rupees for 7 years, that means 75 into 7, that is 525 only. That means the amount which we chose 1000 was correct because it's uh, verifying it's uh, uh, satisfying both the conditions okay so you can do it like this also so both the options are there you can do the problem like this and you can do the problem mentally even but uh, i think after practice you'll be able to understand the concept and you'll be able to do the problems mentally and now, now let's take the next problem <clears throat> 